Hey guys, and Sophie here with some more AFK Arena. Today we're back over on the test server and looking at a couple new things that are coming to AFK Arena that are actually pretty cool. So one is the events. So looking here, they are adding in reinforcements. If you remember this little um, this little picture here is from the free to play or the, the, the free Gwen that you can get. But look at here, heroes can be swapped for free every 48 hours or diamonds may be spent to swap heroes during, during the cooldown period, meaning that you can try heroes for free if you are VIP 10 to unlock to the Celestials and Hypogen heroes, but you can actually try a hero for free. I'm not sure exactly how they came up with the three star rating. Doesn't look like they have signature items, doesn't look like they have anything essentially equipped on there, but there we go, we can reinforce, try out high tier heroes now. So we can go ahead and check him out or swap him for another hero. So it's very, very cool to see, especially for newer players to AFK Arena that don't know exactly who the heroes are. Now with this event, they only do have it right now for seven days. It would be very, very cool if they just made this kind of a permanent event, even if the heroes were a little bit lower. Again, for players that are not used to AFK Arena or that do not play AFK Arena so they can actually get kind of used to it, accustomed to it, looking at the heroes, testing out the heroes before they do want to build them, similar to what we do to the trials. So also, we do have a brand new artifact, which this one is kind of interesting. So it is a brand new artifact, which will look right here, Carnage. So Carnage is the brand new artifact. If you look, it does have attack speed. Remember, attack speed is different than haste. This is one of the attributes that was added through the Abyssal Expedition. So attack frequency of normal attacks is increased by 1% for every one point a character has, meaning that as we look here, 11.8. So 11.8% faster, I'm assuming, with a little bit of attack bonus, but the artifact power, again, is very unique. Once the wielder's health falls below 50%, they are granted 15 haste, 32 life leech for eight seconds. Now, the haste coupled with the attack speed could be very, very powerful. But again, the wielder has to fall below 50% health. If they do not fall below 50% health, that is not going to do anything. The other thing I dislike about the artifact is the life leech factor of it. Because as we know, life leech is a very, very powerful skill. But life leech can be negated by shields. So essentially, if you attack a hero with a shield, if you don't do any damage to that hero, you are not going to get any life leech or any life back in return because it is blocked essentially by the shield. So looking here too, the 5% the attack, this one has a 10% attack, so double the attack. Plus this does also give haste and life leech, which again, a li little bit interesting with the haste. So the other one, this one will give more attack speed. A little bit more haste, the life leech, again, I'm not really too concerned about, but again, the trigger for this is falling below 50%. If the hero does not fall below 50%, then you're not gonna be able to use this, essentially. It, it's not gonna trigger the haste effect, which is gonna be, is the attack more worth it, or is it going to be the attack speed which is more worth it? And that's really dependent on the warrior specifically that is using it, where it could either be a, a pro or a con, depending on the artifact. But it's very, very cool that they're giving us artifacts. Remember, this one is 31-60. So you almost have to be in Chapter 32 at the point to go ahead and use and acquire that artifact. Another thing, of course, that is up the new Realm boss, which we'll look at really quick. So the Twisted Realm, there we are fighting the Ice Shimira. Next boss, there he is, guys. So the Grotesque Mage has joined us for the Twisted Realm Magically escapes the battlefield after enemies have used six ultimate abilities. So he did retain the escape plan ability, which is what a lot of people wanted to look at. Um, that makes it very, very dependent because heroes that are not relying on alts, such as Soros, not relying on alts, are going to do very, very well against the Grotesque Mage. Um, the twins are going to have not very much of an effect. Grez is not going to have very much of an effect. Um, where an Arthur-Gwen combo might have a very, very significant effect with the escape plan not being able to use more than six alts. Electric Spark, which is the same as what we've seen, um, kind of a chain lightning ability. Um, lightning bolts will end after 
reaching a maximum distance, or after they rebound 10 times when a target is hit by the lightning, their attack rating will be reduced by 7% for 5 seconds. The attack rating debuff is calculated separately each time a target is hit by lightning. If only one enemy remains, a single high-powered lightning bolt shall shoot. So reducing a ton of attack rating there for the grotesque mage. Then of course phantom magic damage damage the entire enemy team and creates a phantom which removes most debuffs from enemies. This is the big issue that they had with building Saurus. Um, he will take off Saurus's buffs. So it's going to be interesting to see what team comps really come out of this and who we're going to have to be resistant, I guess, in building. Because I'm not sure if Lucreta is going to be taken out of here because Lucreta, once she ults um, with her 9 of 9 furniture, will be very, very strong for this, I believe. Gaining any attribute boats, the buffs granted. Damage taken by the Phantom does not count towards the damage dealt. In addition, remember, you can kill the Phantom, so you can get rid of the Phantom very, very quickly, allowing you to not go ahead and maybe remove as many debuffs. I'm not sure the timer on him, but that will be the next boss that is going to be coming. The Misty Valley is also again on repeat, so we'll go ahead and see that. Um, the Misty Valley will be up again on repeat, and of course the new trials are up for Krez. Also, in addition, the friends. So now with mercenaries, making sure that you are renting out your mercenaries. So they are actually going to give you 50, um, 10 companion points each time you loan out a mercenary. Players can receive a maximum of 50 companion points per week using this method. Now, the couple questions that I had, it says players should now receive 10 companion points each time they successfully loan out a mercenary. The mercenaries are on loan for seven days. So does that mean you're only getting 30 if you don't return them? We're yet to see exactly how this is going to work. I guess what the adjustment is going to be here um, since everything is now live. A couple other changes, of course, they changed a little bit more with Grez. I don't even think I have them built on this account. So we will just go ahead and look through the Grez down here. Um, looking at Grez, he is a hero that they have adjusted and changed a lot. So Demonic Assault is the ability that is always in question. So they went ahead and adjusted it to steal attack rating from a target. The full value stated when it is stolen. Right now, if there is a debuff, so if the attack rating debuff is on the target, he steals less power. That is going to be fixed, allowing him to do more damage which again is going to change the metas for all of the Twisted Realms that we know. Another really, really big change, of course, is with Pharrell and his furniture. So the furniture, as we know, the second ability is the big one. Pharrell uses the ability a curse arrow as his normal attack, which can be used every 1.5 seconds. This is down, so right now the ability reads it is used every 2 seconds. It is going down to 1.5, and remember with the accursed arrow, he can stun when there are three evil spirits. So this, again, is further going to increase the chain stuns that we see Pharrell doing. Very, very powerful with that as well. And then, of course, the final one was Queen. So they actually uh, changed, didn't change the ability for Queen, but I think just overall, the Stationary Drifter, a lot of times they said when this generated damage, it didn't do the damage as stated, which has been fixed. Dealing AoE damage seven times with the final attack, dealing 250 AoE damage. Very, very powerful, which is eight in total. Um, very strong hero. Not many people build her. I don't see her built anywhere. I definitely want to build her. I think she has some places on teams. I'm also interested to see, again, with her being the warrior spec, what the new artifact is going to look like when it comes to her which is going to be very, very cool. So a lot more stuff still coming when this patch drops. Normally the patch will drop on Tuesday. So again, if Lilith stays true, true to what they usually do, we will see the patch drop on live on Tuesday. Make sure you're saving up for Karen and also building him. He seems pretty powerful, but he does seem a little bit niche when it comes to a lot of the different formations. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.